Hello traders, what you see in front of you is one entire year of day trading the SPXL day trading plan. That's a plan that I've written, that I've back tested, I forward tested for more than a year now. Um, we've taken 212 real money trades with it and today we're going to go over the year end results for 2023. So this is what you're looking at here is the daily chart and you can see every single blue bubble is a day that I've taken a trade and there's obviously days that trades were not taken and that is based entirely on what when the SPXL day trading plan tells me to take a trade or not. I have orders placed out in the market every single day. They either get triggered or they don't based again on the criteria built into the day trading plan. There's no predictions involved in this. There's no indicators involved in this. Uh, it's all based on a very simple criteria established in the plan. So let's go over some highlights first and then I'll go into more detail as this video goes on and you can stick around for as long as you like. So this is the year in review of the SPXL day trading plan. First of all, was it profitable in 2023? Yes. How many trades were taken in 2023? 132 trades out of 246 trading days. Earlier I said we, we took two, we've taken 212 trades. That's since day one, uh, which was, I believe, May 24th of uh, 2022. So our normalized ROI, and that just means if we normalize the results to one single share, and that and the reason why I do that is because that tells me is the trading plan actually profitable regardless of the share size that I'm trading with obviously as your account grows you can take on more share size and that can wildly change your ROI uh, for the better or the worse depending on uh, the kind of the timing of things and how it coincides with the market so our normalized ROI is 12.29 percent which May not sound like a lot if you listen to you know various youtubers that are claiming 40 80 over 100 percent uh returns but it's up to you to uh, decide whether or not that's realistic or not so the actual roi trading one-third of the account is 6.31 percent this is reflected in the uh, weevil account page this is the account that i'm using to trade this trading plan with and you can see here it's showing 6.31%. The effective ROI based on trading an account over PDT rule, this is really important because right now we're only able to trade with one third of our account size. So of course this number is a lot lower than it could be if we were using an account that is over $25,000 where we can use all of the account each day on each trade and that may sound risky to you but this is a trading plan with uh, hard stops in place on every single trade so I don't think there is a lot of risk to that my back testing shows this plan is profitable and so does the forward testing and our ROI if we were using a trading account over PDT would be around 19 percent which I think is very respectable so how much is in this trading account right now you saw it uh, well just a moment ago on the Weeble account page. We started with $885.70. I can show you that here if we go to trading account value and go to January 1st. And as of today, we have uh, $3,659. And even though today's December 24th, I'm doing this as a year end video because I'm not taking any more trades for the rest of the year. I'm taking the last week of the year off for vacation and I don't wanna be bothered with trading. Other than that, I've traded every single day this year and plan on doing so next year. So back to the highlights. The actual P&L for 2023, again, you've already seen that, $73.33. Again, it doesn't sound like a lot, but this is forward testing. We're slowly building this account as we see this plan continue to prove profitable. So this is all part of the process. And let's move on to the next page. If this year was an average year now this is purely hypothetical do not run with this i strongly suggest if you're interested in this trading plan and you're trying it out yourself that you first start with one single share of trades you take at least 100 trades with that see if it's profitable for you see if you understand how things work and and want to continue to do so and then slowly increase your account size as you continue to prove profitability that's what i've done that's what i suggest anyone to do i 
don't suggest you take my word for it or anyone else's that a trading plan is going to be profitable for you and you just dump a bunch of money into it. So this next part is purely hypothetical, but this is based on my actual results from this year. So let's say if we traded the same year, got the same results, but instead of this small account, we were trading with $100,000 and we weren't even scaling our trades as the account grows. So um, this, is, this is why I'm gonna show you the range. So the range, the realistic range based on my results is 10,000 to 20,000 per year with a $100,000 account. So the tw you can get maybe closer to that, closer to that 20,000 if you're scaling uh, your position size as your account grows. Uh, if you didn't, then you would probably fall into the lower range, but not below 10,000. So the range is 10 to 20% ROI based on this year's results. That's only one year, so it's really not enough to say that that's going to happen every year. But this is just encourage, encouragement for me to continue to trade this plan because it's proven profitable so far and this shows the potential of it and I think I'm just going to keep trading it exactly. Now I know I'm going to keep trading it exactly as written and continue to increase my account size uh, as we go on. And if we go back up to here, you can kind of get an idea for how much I've deposited into the account because this is all my P&L for the year. So how did I get from here to here? That's mostly deposits. And that's just because I believe in this trading plan um, because I've proven it. It's not a belief based on, oh, I hope it works. It's just based on my statistics from actual testing and back testing. I can show you some back testing um, as well. And then we'll go over the details of the uh, spreadsheet here. So if we were back testing with one single share, this is the PL curve over about five years, and you can see there's a lot of hopping around. This red line represents zero, so there's some gains and then back to zero or a little bit below, and it takes a long time for this thing to take off. But this would be more like our example of the $100,000 account. Let's say we were, we were trading with the, the same size positions, um, $10,000 positions, then this would be our PL curve. So you can see it, it does still come down below zero in the beginning, but eventually takes off and really uh, gets moving as time goes on. So this is based on actual data of um, from January 1st, 2018 of the S&P 500 all the way up until July 30th, 2023. So let's take a look at now my uh, trade tracker for the year. This is the year to date results. So this is trade number for me, 81 to 212. That's, those are the trades that um, we took this year. I can scroll down quickly just to give you an overview of all the data that I've collected. I'll just kind of go month by month and stop, and you can always pause and look if you want to see more details. But here you can see every single month, these were the trades that were triggered to be taken, and those are the trades that I took. And, there, and these are the results of those trades. And on the right-hand side is tracking kind of the overall P&L throughout the year. So there were 246 trading days, 132 trades were taken. The P&L per share, that's for one single share, $8.59. So if you were trading 10 shares, about $80, 100 shares, $800, so on and so forth as you increase your share size. Win rate, 53%. That's not really that crucial. It's just a statistic to, uh, to track wins and losses. Uh, 70 wins, 62 losses, 132 trades. The average cost of each share was 69.88. That's over the entire year. And the ROI based on the average cost per share, 12.29%. And here's our average loser, our average winner. And they were dead even, which is kind of weird, but that's just how things worked out. Our average P&L per share per trade is six cents per share per trade. That's not that may sound like a really low number, but really all you need is a positive number here and, and you're profitable. Um, this gets scaled with your position size, so that's nothing to worry about. Uh, when So our, our ROI was, was one to one basically, and that just worked out statistically. It's not like that was set into the trading plan. And our average P&L per month, now this is just, we're just tracking one single share. Average P&L per month per share, 72 cents. That's the monthly P&L basically uh, on average, and that's again for one single share. And this was just a statistic I was tracking just for myself. I was just curious if we're trading on FO, FOMC days, were we profitable or unprofitable? And overall, we were profitable. And this is the year to date um, P&L curve, which was pretty erratic. But again, this is just trading one single share. 
Um, what we actually did was trade multiple shares and we um, increased the number of shares throughout the year. So you're going to see the actual P&L curve on Weeble looks quite different. Pay attention to the highs and lows and where this thing dips down back to zero and compare that to the P&L curve here in Weeble. So we're looking at this curve and we're comparing it to this curve. Lots of similarities, but there's some key differences I want to point out. Um, one is that we dipped down below zero where, where this one came down near zero but didn't quite touch it. That's because this is tracking one single share trades where here we were taking less shares back here and more shares toward the end of the year as the account grew. So that means that our uh, whenever we did run into a string of losses, which happened during the third quarter, that's obvious by this area here, that the that it pulled down our P&L curve uh, at a lot faster rate uh, with a lot more magnitude than it did with one single share. But likewise, as we started to regain kind of a winning momentum, and again, that was just based on the market. I didn't change anything throughout the year. I just traded the plan the same way every day. We we regained almost all of our um, wins throughout the year and ended up uh, quite positive in the green uh, with our biggest month being in December. And that was just because, uh, well, a couple of things. We're trading with more share size and the market was working in our favor, in favor of the trading plan. So that's that. Let's look at the overall trade tracker. So this is from day one, which are in our first trade, which was May 25th, actually. Um, and you can just scan. I'm not going to go over all of these results. Uh, this is pretty much the same as the year to date, but it's just more data. And I can scroll through uh, kind of quickly just so you can see all the data that we were collecting. Um, most of this is on the previous spreadsheet that I showed you starting here at December 1st. So most of this is not going to be new. This is just the overall trade tracker that I'm going to use um, to track everything. And you, there you can see I've already planned in my vacation. So those are our stats. Our overall, we're up $14.29 per share on this uh, trading plan. So again, everything all points to green in the long run, although it's not always smooth sailing as you go through the year. Uh, there you may see some dips, as we saw in the third quarter. But overall, we're green. And we're the, the beauty of this plan is that you don't have to think. You just trade the plan. Um, you do need discipline. So if you don't have that, this definitely won't work for you. You have to be able to follow the plan 100% and trade it the same way every day. And that's what I've done. And that's why we have uh, come away green. And even if we didn't come away green, we would come away with some solid data based on the trading plan. So either way, it's a win-win. If you have a trading plan, stick to it, track your results. Don't change it until you've collected a lot of data. Uh, 100 trades bare minimum, but really you need close to a thousand or a thousand trades and that's where we're headed we're at trade number 212 and that overall trade tracker and we're just going to keep going so there's our last trade December 22nd 2023 trade number 212 and our biggest winner was uh, trade number 207 here three dollars and 73 cents per share so um, that was our biggest winner for the year not overall uh, anyway hopefully this video was helpful to you Hopefully you are uh, happy about the SPXL trading plan results. And these are not, you know, pie in the sky numbers. This is real data, real results, real number, real cash, uh, as real as it gets. So let me know what you think. If you're interested in the trading plan, it is available at patreon.com slash trading armor. And I want to say thank you to all my Patreon members and everyone who watches my YouTube videos. As always, go into every single trade with a plan. Stick to that plan no matter what. Always take your stops, take your profit targets, and in the long run, you should be green. Take care.